continuing series, Paws for a Cause, how you can help some of these dogs in need of a great home. Look at those fur balls. Hi, fur ball. Well, today we have some small paws with us for our Paws for a Cause series. Robin Presnell is the executive director of Small Paws Rescue, Inc., the largest breed rescue in the country. Over the past 12 years, they've saved over 7,500 Bichons. Robin has brought Boris, Aaron, Casey, Olivia, and Taylor, who have been successfully adopted. And uh, Prancer and Dancer, I guess, still need a home, but they're not with us They're today, not with right? us this morning, but they're for adoption on our website, smallpawsrescue.org. And we have Joanne with us as well, yes. right? She, yes. Well, thank you so much. So, so these beautiful dogs were rescued and have already been adopted. They have amazing stories, yes. Um, this is T Taylor on the in the red leash and he actually came into the witness protection program from an abuse case some, okay. somewhere in the country and look how well he's doing now and then uh, these two this is Olivia and this is Aaron Casey and both of these uh, little Bashans were born in puppy mills mm -hmm. and uh, so they were rescued and I am holding Boris Bo Bo Boris lives in Manhattan and uh, he came from a puppy mill at one year old and he is just the, the sweetest little love um, Right. This one, this yeah. one is very, has a lot of energy over it. <laughs> so, so now, why, how did you decide that you wanted to just help one breed? Well, what happened was I found myself on the steps of a puppy mill in Missouri, and I went to get a Bichon puppy, thinking that this was a place to do that, and my eyes were open, and we really didn't have anything that, on a national scale for Bichons. But uh, just uh, other, other than rescuing Bichons, we also train other breed rescues to do what we do for their breeds. There's no right. breed we haven't rescued. This is a sought-after breed. People want this. I mean, this, these uh, dogs clean up nice, don't they? <laughs> they do clean up <laughs> they, nice. They, they, look they at do. them. Bright <laughs> white. They do. And, you know, the, the thing is, they may look like foo-foo dogs, but they are big dogs in a little dog body. Really? Yeah, they're tough. Oh, they're rough. They're tough. You find a, a, a mud puddle, they're going to be in it. And uh, the personality of these dogs is just, it will capture your hearts. It will enrich your lives and, and just give you a whole new outlook on life. I may have to add it to my list. I have a dog seven-year-old daughter who gets a dog when she's 10 and we're, ah. already, we're already creating lists and she loves mm -hmm. Bichons. Well, Bichons so she's maybe seven. now after mommy's been so close to them right. it might yeah. go on the list and we're getting more and more great stories from this week of uh, this, this this series on trying to save uh, rescue dogs right. and get them homes this is a great story and if people want to get in touch with other to you about other Bichons what do we do smallpawsrescue.org www.smallpawsrescue.org all of our information is on our home page right. we have Bichons in every state we have over 250 for adoption right now wow. across the country. Uh, the economy has caused people to have mm -hmm. to surrender their Bichons. Uh, sometimes uh, we have people who have passed away or right. gone into well, a that's sad. All sorts but of reasons. Yeah, and you, you go to foxandfriends.com too and we'll link you. Right. You ever try to mix them up and see if you remember who's who? Oh, I know. Because they look exactly <laughs> the same. Last it's like time a big show. I was here, you said they all look alike. They, I said, no, oh, no, really? they don't okay. look alike. Oh, you're all. sophisticated. All right, this is Olivia. Now, Olivia has a little bit straighter fur. Oh, that's true. That's right. And this is Erin Casey. We call her the all right, and they all have homes. But thanks so much for coming in. All right. uh, Robin, Robin and Joanne, and Joanne, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, the makers of Botox 